But just how incredible is it to just imagine that some of these plants have been growing here for the last thousand years. You know? They have seen a lot and at the same time not because they've always been on this same spot here. internet it is um, 7 39 in the morning and welcome back to the channel I am leaving early again um, I am leaving now from uh, Cape Cross and today I am riding through the Mesum crater or that's the plan and it will be a long day I think it is 226 kilometers uh, to the other side of the crater and I think everything is going to be unpaved and probably not such easy terrain um, it's remote <laughs> so um, I got my fuel I got water so it should be fine but uh, I expect not to see a single soul on the route today so that's why I wanted to leave uh, in time so I have plenty of time to um, make it today the weather is well I think typical again eh, for this place very foggy I'll show you uh, later today I'll show you the route on the map but uh, now I just really want to uh, use all the morning time and get going so wow this is so depressing <laughs> it's actually really beautiful but you can't really see that now but all this that slight green those are lichens and uh, Namibia has a hundred different species of lichen and uh, they all grow here along the coast but now it's uh, barely visible but they are, they are beautiful colors well if you would tell me that a nuclear bomb went off here I think I would believe you man wow these lichen fields are so beautiful they're really fragile so if you ride over them they're immediately dead so I have to stick to the to the track but it's so beautiful it just gives this whole green like glaze over the landscape it's a shame it's still so foggy but uh, hopefully within now and an hour the sun will just uh, burn through the fog
This plant, this is a uh, Velvichia. Awesome. Oh, I was hoping to see them. Look how incredible. Wow, these are so special. These plants can grow up to 2000 years, they say. So on average, they'll, they'll be about 500 years, but there are plants that are known to be 1000, 1500 or even 2000 years old. Um, they, they consist actually of two leaves, one on each side, but the older they get, the more the leaves turn into, kind of rip apart into more leaves, I believe. And they are endemic to the Namib desert. Uh, so they occur here in Namibia and also in the south of uh, Angola. I'm trying not to get too close because they have very shallow roots and you can actually damage the roots, I think. So I'll try to give the plant some space. Incredible. It's just amazing how an organism like this, a plant like this, can survive in this desert. It's really unbelievable. So they have very shallow roots. They have a network of shallow roots. And then they also have like one deep root, which can tap into like groundwater. Uh, and that's how they survive in this harsh, harsh environment. All right, that was the Velvicia. There's more over there, one, two, three, four. I think they usually occur kind of in groups or in sort of fields. So I am now riding on the outer edge of the Mesum crater. All of that what you see here. And this, this main road is super corrugated. So everywhere you get these side tracks, which are a lot better. I just have to make sure I'm not creating any new tracks. Wow, this volcanic landscape just really reminds me of Iceland. Except that in Iceland you didn't get these massive filmages. Look, this is another really big one. Just incredible, right? Wow. <laughs> what a place! Getting closer to the crater now. And I've been climbing the edge of the crater. And I think I'm at the top. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Look at this. These are all the edges of the crater. Unbelievable, right? Wow. <laughs> 
check out this view. Spectacular. And actually what we're looking at is also a caldera. So very similar to the Brucoros. And it has a diameter of almost 20 kilometers. Whew. I'm not going to stay here very long because I can really feel the temperatures rising now. What time is it? It's only 20 past 10 in the morning and it's already getting pretty hot now. So let's get going. I still have a long day ahead of me because I still have 172 kilometers to go. Progress is just really slow on this stuff here. I can't go fast anywhere almost. So it's going to be a very long day of riding. But what, what a place. Oh. Fantastic, really fantastic. Oh, it is so terribly corrugated everywhere. <laughs> oh, not good. Savannah is getting a beating. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, so am I. It seems like they just don't maintain this track at all. And it's just one big washboard rattling my teeth out. Wow, that's a big one there. Here also. Look at that one. I mean, that must be like a thousand years old. There's a huge one. Oh, and there, wow. There's a lot of them. But just how incredible is it to just imagine that some of these plants have been growing here for the last thousand years. You know? They have seen a lot. And at the same time not, because they've always been on this same spot here. Just mind-blowing. That, that kind of stuff blows my mind. Plants that manage to survive in this harsh environment. Hardly any water. I mean, maybe that's also why they survive, because there's no animals eating them. I, I, I mean, maybe that's part of their success. You know, there's... No animals surviving here, so they're left alone. Or maybe they just taste really bad. I, I don't know that. Wow, look at this one. <laughs> just one massive pile of leaves. All right. Let's get out of the crater and move on. Uh, where do I need to go? This way. This route, I think. No, I'm wrong. This way. No, I'm going wrong again. How am I supposed to? No, I need to be, I think, on the other side over there, but. I can't really seem to figure out how to get there. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, I think it's here. Daar niet onderuit ging. Oei, oei, oei. Oké. Okay. It's here. Corrugated, unfortunately. Oh. All right, it's time to uh, fill up my tank with my extra uh, extra petrol that I brought it's almost empty so now I can put both of them in there at the same time uh, still 142 kilometers so should be doable I still have six liters there and probably like one liter left in the tank or so that's one Savannah is full again. Let's continue. Oh, this is terrible stuff. It's sandy up here. Woo. Sandy and corrugated. I have to keep my speed. Can't look at the scenery because I have to focus on the road. So I hope you can look around a little bit for me. Because <laughs> it is really beautiful here. But, uh, Concentrate on this track here. It's quite deep sand around here. Oh. Ooh. This takes a lot of energy, it really does. Now I can't get back to <laughs> I can't get back to the speed that I need to ride over it. <laughs> it's really difficult to get my speed up again. Oof. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. 
this. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Wow, so that, that high mountain you see in the distance there, that is the Brandberg and I'm pretty sure it's actually the tallest mountain in Namibia. So I made it to Uis, Uis, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Dust clouds. And what you see there, those white mountains, that is all leftover material or like processed material from the old uh, tin mine, which is around here. It's pretty surrealistic, huh? Look, they even have a motorcycle there. <laughs> How cool is that? Look. So I made it to the Brandberg rest camp, really nice place to stay, unfortunately uh, they are cleaning the pool so the pool is uh, empty, <laughs> but that's all good, I am shattered today, it was, it was a really long day but uh, I don't know, this landscape, it was just, it was just gorgeous, uh, I, I want to show you on the map what route I did, so I started here at Cape Cross and then I went straight across through the Messum crater, came out on the other side somewhere there, and then, oh, the wind is taking the map, and then I took this road to Uis, where I am now. And I know that not everybody appreciates these type of landscapes, and, and some people just really want to see trees and everything green, and I also really like those landscapes, but there's something about these type of deserts, and what is really fascinating is that all of that volcanic activity that happened just before South America parted from um, Africa. So that was also the whole Gondwana breaking up and everything like that. But uh, that volcanic activity happened before. And so the lavas that, that I wrote through today, they did research on the composition and they found the exact same lavas in an area called Paraná in Brazil. So it's just so fascinating to know that I've been riding through an area which was a long time ago, was connected to South America and they have the exact same uh, volcanic rocks there now. So yeah, I think that's just super fascinating and um, seeing all those deserts, yeah, how desert life adapts to this type of environment. I thought it was amazing and it is so remote there and it's just yeah one of those places it's it's special I, I can't I can't explain it <laughs> I think you just have to go there and experience it for yourself because it is just being there alone on a motorbike in a place like that it's really it does something to you anyway enough talking that was it for today I really hope you like this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video